Club Express, Committees. The Committees module allows clubs and associations to track the various committees and other organized groups of members and even non-members. They might include your board of directors and working groups built around event planning, newsletters and communication, volunteering, and more. The Committees module interacts with many other modules, like discussion forums, events, and blast emailing. For organizations with the Club Express mobile app, you can also create mobile channels based on committee membership. And for organizations with chapters, districts, and regions or subgroups, you can limit committee membership to members of a specific subgroup. Let's look at the user side of the committees module by selecting it from our menu. Each committee can include an image, description, and any related subcommittees. If you've configured the committee to allow website visitors to view the committee members, you'll see a link to view a list. Depending on the configuration of the committee, members and non-members can see contact information for committee members, and members can send the entire committee a plain text email. Note that the contact information you see for the committee member is based on what they've entered in their member profile and the privacy selection they made for their member directory listing. If the committee allows members to join on their own, members will see a button to add themselves or remove themselves if they're already a member. Back on the main screen, if the committee has an associated web page with more details about its work, you'll see a link to the page on the committee's card. Now let's move to the administrative side of the module. We're signed in as an administrator, so we'll hover over the flyout menu on the right side and click the edit option. You can also find the module in the control panel, people tab. The committee's administration screen shows all committees in your organization, along with buttons to add a new committee and run reports. If your organization has subgroups, you'll see a subgroup selector you can use to filter your committee list. To see a list of all committees in this case, select All Committees in the drop down menu. The grid listing committees includes the name, number of committee members, if the committee is a subcommittee, which parent committee it belongs to, and options to maintain the committee. We'll come back to those. Let's add a new committee. Click the Add Committee button to open the Add Edit Committee pop up window. To start, Enter the name and purpose of the committee. If your organization has subgroups, you can choose a subgroup for the committee. Only members of that subgroup will be able to see or join the committee when you assign a subgroup. Note that once you've assigned a subgroup, you won't be able to change it later. Next, if you've created a custom web page for your committee, for example, to highlight the work they've accomplished, you can select the web page here. If this committee is a subcommittee, Choose the parent committee from the drop down list. On the user side, subcommittees appear in a list on the parent committee card. If your organization is using the Club Express mobile app, you'll see the option to create a channel based on this committee. Next, if your organization members join through their professional lives, for example, in a medical association, you'll see the option to include each member's work title in their member profile. You'll only see this option if you select Members Join Through Their Professional Lives in People Options. Next, determine the visibility settings for committee members, whether to show the list of committee members to admins, all members, or members and non-members. You'll make the same visibility selection for member photos. Remember that members of the committee are listed with their contact information. Members can adjust their privacy settings in their member profiles under Standard Member Directory. Next, determine whether you'll allow emails to the committee. You can allow only committee members to send an email, allow all members of your organization to email the committee, or don't allow any emails. If you are allowing emails, you have an additional option to include the committee's email address if it already exists. Choose an image for the committee. If your organization allows sharing on social media, the image will appear with a post when a member shares information about the committee. This image will also appear on the user side of committees. Next, you'll choose whether or not to show the committee on your website.
This option differs from the visibility settings we made earlier and allows you to create committees only visible on the back end of the module. This option is helpful if you want to use the committees module to create informal working groups and still take advantage of the module's connections to other website features, for example, discussion forums or blast emailing. Last, you'll make a few membership selections. If the committee has a limited number of seats, if you need to track the terms of office for each member, and if you want members to be able to add or remove themselves from the committee. Note that if the committee has a limited number of slots or you track terms of office, you won't have the option to allow members to add or remove themselves. Also, if you track terms of office for committee seats, you won't be able to add non-members to the committee. Click Save to save your changes. Now that we've added our committee, let's look at how committees are populated. Click the Members icon in the Maintain column to add and manage your committee members. The committee members screen and options will vary based on whether or not the committee has limited membership and if you're tracking terms of office. If the committee does have limited membership, you'll see a grid matching the number of slots you can fill. Any open seats will have a vacancy label. If the committee does not have limited membership, you'll see buttons at the top of the screen to add committee members. In both cases, if you track terms of office, you'll only see the option to add members to the committee, not non-members. Further, in each case, the grid listing search results will include the member or non-member's name, their title on the committee, terms of office if they're being tracked, whether they're a current member of the committee or their term has expired, and their membership status with your organization. You'll also have the option to remove the member or non-member from the committee using the delete icon. In either case, click the appropriate button or icon to add a member or non-member from your database to the committee. If you're adding a member, you'll also see the option to include tertiary members in the committee. Tertiary committee members won't be visible in the list of committee members and won't appear on committee member reports, but they will receive emails sent to the committee. This option is useful for organizations with business memberships, where tertiary members might want to be involved in committee work. You can optionally apply an existing title to the committee member, for example, if the member serves as the committee's treasurer. The titles in the drop-down menu are those you've added to the titles function in the club tab. Note that selecting a title from this list won't affect any organization contacts you have associated with the title. You can also optionally add a new title to the committee member, for example, co-chair. If you're tracking terms of office, you'll enter a start and end date. Finally, you'll determine what information is displayed for the member, if any, and which email is used when an email is sent to the committee member, either the email they entered in their member profile, the email associated with the title, or you can use the email address you added for the committee when you created it. Note that this email selection only applies to emails sent through the committee's module. This selection does not affect blast emails or system emails the member might receive. The committee's module works hand in hand with many other modules on your website. You can create forums based on committee membership in the Discussion Forums module. Whenever a member is added or removed from the committee, they'll be automatically added or removed from the associated forum. In blast emailing, text messaging, and in-app notifications for mobile app users, you can send messages to members of a specific committee. In the event calendar, you can create events available only to committee members, or add a special price for committee members to an all-member event. In the document library, you can add folders visible to committee members only to store reports, meeting minutes, and more. You can also create surveys and ad hoc forms for a specific committee. Finally, if your organization uses the Club Express mobile app, you can create mobile channels based on committee membership. Like discussion forums, when members are added or removed from the committee, they'll be automatically added or removed from the associated channel. So now you've learned how to add your organization's committees to your website. 
and how you can leverage them across your website. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.